All right, Chantel, let's take a look at this here. Um, all right, so what you do is you just come in here. Let's click on the page. Come in, dropped in. In this case here, I dropped in a two-column row. Uh, depending on how wide you want this, you may want to go a three- or four-column row, depending on what you need on that. You can also go into CSS and set up the specific width and, and all that kind of garbage too. But um, for simplicity's sake here, all you do is you just come in and you drop yourself in a bunch of icons. So let's just drop in one more icon here let's go there with an icon and um, let's just see if we can find a different social media icon and oops let's click there let's just type in the word social let's see what we can find uh, let me see oh wow come on who doesn't use google plus anymore well, we're gonna have to throw that one in there and we will get rid of the margin at the top and then let's see how big are these here these are all 30 pixels so we'll make this one 30 pixels as well. There we go. Now we have all of our icons here all stacked one on top of each other. And then when we apply flex, what it's going to do is it will flex it in whatever direction we want. In our case here, we want it to be flexed out as a row, which is the default. So we don't have to put anything in there. So now let's just go into our CSS. And so first thing we're going to do here, let me skinny this up so you can see what's going on. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to tell it to display flex. And so it did that. And of course, where'd it go? So here it goes all the way over. But what it wants to do is it wants to, again, the default on where it's going to position is going to be defaulted to what they call flex start. So justify content would be flex start. So it's going to push everything to the left-hand side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and first off, we're going to say we don't want this thing to wrap. So if it were to get too long, it could potentially wrap and go to a second line. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to say flex wrap is no wrap. And now what we can do is what I had on the original one that I showed you, as I said, I wanted everything to have a width of 25%. Well, we put in a fifth one now. So let's change that to 20%. And we can say we want that width to be 20%. So instead of just going our our call, you know, your column and then your call inner, we also put a div after it because that div would then represent each one of these individual elements. And I can show you that. Let's just inspect this page real quick. And <clears throat> so, doo -doo -doo -doo, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Build the printer. What's Spencer up to? So, um, so what we have here is, so we got our call right, our call inner, and then we got our div immediately after that. So it would target each one of these divs and make that each one 20% of the width. Now, in our case here, we're not even going to use that anymore because what we're going to do is instead, we're just going to use the justify content. And so let me kill that and let me skinny this down. And so, as you know, they're all piled up here right behind here. So what I want to do is I want to say, um, in fact, let me... Let me do this so we can actually see them. There we go. So now let's justify our content. And we're going to say, first off, we're going to say space between. And so now what it's doing is it's going to put one all the way to the left edge, one to the right edge. As you can see, it lines up right there. And it's going to give it equal amount of space in between. Now we can change that out and we can say space around. Whereas now they will have an equal amount of space all the way around each one of them. So, so it evenly spaces it out a little bit better. So we'll leave that as space around. Now, in order to get this to be skinnier, you can, of course, you know, do something like this, or like I said, you could put in, you know, a three column row, and then you could squish them all together with that or four column row, however, just to take up that extra space. You can, of course, also come in and you could do something like put in some margin instead. So let's uh, do this. Let's see what works here. Let's say we want to see on that case here, then we'd have to go with the div again. Um, so let's just uh, put that there and you go to semicolon at the end of that line. And let's say margin of zero at the top and let's say 10 pixels either side let's see if that changes anything and the answer is no it won't because i'm using the justify content up here so i can take that out and see now we have 
uh, 10 pixels. Let's just make it 100 pixels so you can just see the difference there. We can do that. Let's see if we put the width back in. Let's see that. And then let's see if we can get this to change it. I don't think it will. Yeah, I guess it still will. So each one has a width of 20%, but it has margin of 100. So there's all kinds of different ways you can play around with how you set up that spacing. But most likely the easiest way to do it is just to do the space around and then uh, using your column widths, decide how wide you want each of these to be. And of course, you can set the icon size and everything as well.